right, it's Monday, January 23rd, and I have got a uh, nice stack of mail right here to take a look through. we got a couple of purchases from Sportlots, a couple of purchases from eBay, Trade, and a TTM. So, basically go in that order. The stuff for Sportlots, I'm hopefully going to be making use of what, next, well, this coming weekend. we got another uh, in-person outing coming up here. A couple in-person outings, actually, this week. But, uh, yeah, this is all stuff for the XFL, the Arlington... What is their name, anyways? The Arlington and the XFL. Let's just go with that. Um, used to be the Dallas. They changed to Arlington now because it's actually out of Arlington. So, uh, yeah, they're holding an open practice for uh, fans to check out. So, figure, all right, we'll go through the roster and uh, find cards of all those guys. And so, stack of them right there to take a look through and uh, see if I can get those signed. It's courtesy of one of the sellers. I believe that was Shaner18. And so, I bought those ones from on Sport Lots. And uh, second package here from Sport Lots is another stack to go along with that. These ones were purchased from, is that, yeah, it's a BK Cards X is the screen name on that one. Another nice stack of cards right there. Tim Lewis, one of the coaches there with the team, but yeah, nice, uh, nice size stack, and hopefully we'll be able to get most of those signed uh, next weekend. I believe it's Saturday they're going to be doing that, so yeah, get those down. We'll hope for the best and uh, show you what I get. So let's move on to the eBay purchases. Uh, this one's from uh, Seller Wolfpack 2324. Patrick out of North Carolina, and I'm not sure which one this one is. I haven't looked through to uh, figure it out, but see if I can tear my way into this envelope. It's uh, very nicely taped up well, so yeah, there we go. Got a, just enough of a hold to be able to get into there, but this one is, yeah, this is a uh, Topps Heritage set hit, I believe. Yeah, and a little extra card taped on here as well. We'll uh, show that one to you here too, but uh it's also one that I can potentially TTM. It's a cool-looking one here of Juan Gonzalez. Let me take off the uh, extra tape on here. Use painter's tape on it, which I always, always, always appreciate when they do that. And there we go. So, yeah, I threw in an extra card of Juan Gonzalez here. And a uh, Texas Rangers team card. So there's the Juan Gon that he tossed in and the uh, Rangers team card. Potential stuff to get signed right there. And the main reason why I bought it was it's this Dylan McLean autograph for my Heritage set. There we go. Trying to make sure I'm not getting any glare off there. And there we go. Finally got that. So there we go. Another Heritage hat, uh, set hit right there. <coughs> Inching my way closer to needing only, uh, to, I think, having 100 signed. I'm in the 90s at this point. So I think that's what it was. Getting close, at least. So either I'm getting close to 100 done or getting close to 100 left. Either way, it's, you know, kind of around the same area. Uh, next up here, another one from, uh, let's see, this is... McRath284 off of eBay. I bought this one from. I believe this is going to be the last one that I need for my soccer sets, if I remember this correctly. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. There you go. It's the Thomas Mueller card for my... Uh, there we go. For Yeah, there we go. Okay, for the uh, Thomas Optic 2018 set. And with that, I have now completed the Optic base set. The only things that I have not done yet for that 2018... Don Russ said, obviously none of the parallels or anything, or none of the autographed ones, but uh, I haven't done any of the optic inserts. There's a hundred of them total. I may have like one of them. It's like, yeah, do I want to start on this? And the answer there is probably going to be a resounding no. So I'm probably about done with all of my uh, unsigned soccer stuff now. So that's kind of cool to be uh, at least most of the way done with that, at least uh, for now. We'll see if that changes. Uh, trade here. This is from uh, Todd Palmer. I made a trade with him on uh, sportscollectors.net. There's going to be another card that I need for the sets that I am doing. You'll see right here. It is a Diamond Kings set hit for 1988 of Bob Welch. Glad to be able to land that one. Got a uh, nice deal on trade there with him. And so got that in to add to it. And so, yeah, I'm uh, still inching my way through all the Diamond Kings stuff there. Um, just picked up a... They purchased today on eBay for uh, two different cards. One of them I need for my uh, regular Heritage 2021 set and uh, one for the Topps All-Time Fan Favorites sets. So when those come in, I will show you what they are. Hopefully they'll be here later this week, maybe early next week, but definitely looking forward to those. I got a really good deal on both of them. So let's take a look at the TTM here. I did not look this up, but I think I know exactly who it is because it's postmarked from the, uh, what is this? Somewhere in North Carolina, at least. The uh, Piedmont Triad area, it says on the second line of it. The issues on it are RP, and I mean, this guy's an absolute legend. My friend Chris said, hey, here's a couple cards. You mind splitting them with me? I'm like, yeah, no problem. So, mail off to him. This should be the king, Mr. Richard Petty, and that is exactly 
what we've got here, we have this uh, little Mini and a Pro Set Racing, both signed nicely by him. The Mini right there, I was able to fit that in nicely. And I mean, how often can you say that you're getting an autograph from the greatest, the, the greatest ever in a certain sport? And there you go. I mean, Richard Petty, always been a great signer, gives you a great looking autograph, a very quick response. And yeah, what can I even say? If you haven't gotten his autograph yet, make sure you do it. I mean, that is a legend right there. Great signer. Seems to love doing it. Go and send it off to him. Anyways, there's a Monday. So let's see if we get the rest of the week coming up right after this. All right, this is, what, Tuesday the 24th. So a uh, whole bunch of stuff in the mail here. We've got two packages. I think both of them are from Sport Lots, I think. I know at least one of them I'm about 90% certain is. Check this one here first, that I think is. Still waiting on a total of about 20 cards to get here for the uh, XFL practice I'm going to on the weekend. So hopefully I'll be able to knock out a few of those with a couple of these packages. And like I said, pretty sure that's what these are. Ah, right, there we go. Riff our way on in. Uh, let's see here. Once again, blue painter's tape, always a uh, always highly appreciated when uh, sellers use that instead of any other kind, really. Oh, wait, no, this is that trade that I made. That's right, this is, uh, yeah, that's what I get from not looking at this. This is Ramon Salinas here, who I uh, made a deal with on uh, sportscollectors.net. And I picked up a John Smoltz autograph. There we go. Yeah, glad to get that one. Looks really good. Uh, moving on from there, uh, like I said, this one I'm pretty sure, though, was a Sport Lots one. Courtesy of uh, Wax Pack Hero, is the name of the place. And yes, that is a Sport Lots uh, pickup here. So yeah, some more stuff for the XFL practice. I'm not going to bore you with it too much. Just, you know, a quick show there. That's what it is. Fun stuff there. Um, another Sport Lots purchase right here as well. This one I was uh, ordered up... For, uh, I was hoping that it might be here this past weekend, but I was able to figure out other ways around it to get what I needed. So I'll be able to use it on Thursday, though, when I go for the Rangers signing at uh, Kroger here in Arlington. And yeah, there we go. It's the two heritage cards of uh, Dane Dunning. I'm not going to show you the other one that are all... You've already seen them signed because, uh, yeah, what I really need to do is uh, I'm hoping... I'm going to get that tape off of there. I'm hoping to get these ones signed in a thinner Sharpie because usually a very thick Sharpie on the uh, previous ones. So I was like, ah, let's let's try to straighten that out a bit. So, yeah, there we go. Um, another one here that I think is going to be another Sport Lots pickup with some XFL stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to have probably close to 70 cards with me for this XFL thing. A whole bunch of their players and coaches. So, hopefully I'll be able to get most of those signed if I can. It'll be a pretty nice day if I do. I'm skipping out on the Rangers Fan Fest to be able to do the XFL practice. And uh, from what I'm hearing about the uh, how the Rangers are handling this, it's first come, first serve on all of the autographs, no matter how big or small the name is. And it sounds like their alumni guys are not going to be signing. They're just going to be there for this uh, stuff with photo ops and... Uh, there's like photo ops and a wiffle ball home run contest or something. It's like, I'm not going to pay $10 to go in there and not get my stuff signed, so... Yeah, skipping out on that, but yeah, that's what I got here. I got a couple more uh, XFL guys right here, so a few of those to put in. And then, like I said, I have a TTM here as well. Postmarked from, can't really tell quite where it's at. I think it said, uh, Ver... I think it's somewhere, in... I think White something or other, Vermont. Yeah, but the is under TB here, and I believe this is going to be one I sent out about a year ago. The great voiceover guy and uh, kind of deadpan comedian, Mr. Tom Bodette. You may recognize his voice on the uh, Motel 6 commercials for the last couple decades. Um, if you're my age, you may remember as a kid doing the voiceover for uh, Mr. S or not Mr. Skullhead. It was for Good Idea, Bad Idea on uh, Animaniacs. And of course, uh, he's now on, uh, wait, wait, don't tell me, on NPR. So I made a custom card for him. He said, here you go, Drew. Sorry it took so long, including on a... Uh, Motel 6 light bulb uh, post-it note. He uh, wrote a quick note there and signed my uh, custom index card right there. So there you go. Funny guy. I mean, he's got that like super deadpan humor, which is always great. I mean, I kind of tend to pull that same thing off sometimes. And yeah, always, uh, always liked his, uh, his work and everything. So really glad to be able to add that uh, custom index to collection. So there you go. Yeah, I haven't been saying I was much in non-sports stuff lately, but it's always good to get some that uh, come back like that. So yeah, hopefully I'll have some more coming in on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Got an in-person outing on Thursday and on Saturday and on Sunday as well. So a lot still uh, upcoming here uh, yet in this video. 
All right, it is Friday. Yesterday, I was able to go out and get some stuff from the Rangers uh, Winter Caravan. So I'll show that off to you here real quick, plus some trades that came in. I think I showed those already, though, so nothing really worth uh, showing there. But, yeah, we'll go ahead and show those, and I've got a couple of other purchases that came in today. So, first, I've got another one of those Josh Smith photo signs. This time it's silver. There. It looks a lot better there in that silver pen. So, very happy to get that one done. Um, Dane Dunning, I got these ones redone as well, the uh, two Heritage cards. On the, uh, we, on the event last weekend, he used kind of a thinner or a thicker uh, pen on it. So I figured, all right, I'll take a thin one with me. And yeah, I think it definitely looks a lot better on the uh, White Sox one there. It's all right on that one. I'll probably stick with the uh, thicker one that I have there. So yeah, we'll go with that. Um, let me look through here real quick, see what else did I get while I was there. Um, another Josh Smith card right there. Another Dane Dunning card there. Uh, let's see here. A couple of Brock Burke cards done right there. Got two more of Burke to show off as well. Uh, those will come up here in a second. Um, a Jonathan Hernandez on that Prism card. Uh, yeah, here's the other Brock Burke. I got a Nick Solak on this one by mail. Got Burke on it in person. So finishing off the duel there. Very nice. Always happy to get those done. And there's the last Brock Burke card right there. So... There you go. Pretty decent uh, showing there for the Rangers uh, Winter Caravan in Arlington. Tomorrow, going to be going out to the XFL practice. Got all my stuff together for that now. Got all the cards in just the other day. So happy to have all those ready to go, all uh, boxed up or bindered up or uh, booked, whatever we call it. So, yeah. Um, but like I said, uh, no TTMs today, but I did get two items in the mail here. Both a couple of eBay pickups. And uh, let's see here. I'm not sure which one is which. We'll... Uh, We'll see here, though. Uh, let's see. This one, uh, package up very nicely. Put it in a uh, little piece of bubble mailer there inside of the photo mailer. And this one is... Okay, yeah, this is the uh, the big one. I'm going to show off a second. So uh, we'll hold off on that for a moment. It was purchased from Ethan Roth out of Kansas. And then this one purchased from Patricia Kelly in Illinois. Ah, there we go. Come on, rip off there. Almost there. Ah, jeez. The uh, little tear-off thing just came completely out of there, so that's not good. But try the other. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's that's oh, that's always fun when the uh, little tear strip there just comes completely out and only tears about part way. I think I'm. Ah, there we go. Okay, now we've got it. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. Okay. But yeah, I was able to pick up the Archie Bradley for the Heritage set. I TTM'd him with no response, so glad to be able to pick this one up. I think it was like $4 only, so got a pretty darn good deal on that one. This was uh, courtesy of Six Sigs Autographs. So uh, there you go. Get these pieces in the back of the envelope there. And now the big one that I was mentioning that came from Ethan Roth out of Kansas. This is a guy who's been charging a lot more to sign lately, and uh, to be able to grab this one for a set that I need at about one-fifth of his current price on signings is a huge win for me. But pick this one up for 40 plus 5 shipping. George Brett for my uh, Topps all-time fan favorite set. Take a closer look there. Hopefully you can see the signature there. I ran it by an authenticator friend of mine. He said, dude, that is good. So there you go. Not bad at all for $40 there. I mean, it's in black rather than blue. I don't care. At that price, I will take it. So... There you go. A couple nice set additions right there. Some stuff with the Rangers. Got the XFL coming tomorrow, which you'll see right after this. Hopefully I have some TTMs to go along with it. All right. It is Saturday, the uh, 27th, 28th, something like that. 28th. It's 28th. There we go. It's Saturday, at least. That's that's what's most important here. I'm uh, going to actually still have one more to talk about after this, too. He's going to be doing some uh, in-person graphing with the Rangers uh, final day of the Winter Rangers Winter Caravan tomorrow. But today it was some football graphing. Check that whole stack out right there. That's all the stuff I got signed at the XFL practice today. The uh, Arlington Renegades. Heck yeah. Formerly the Dallas Renegades. They played in the 2020 season. Then, of course, that got uh, kind of shortened heavily by COVID. Now they're coming back for 2023 with a new name, new logo. Some of the same uh, people involved, though. Bob Stoops, still the head coach over there. <coughs> so, yeah. Let's see if I can go and check out some of their games. Anyways, I'll show you what autographs I was able to get. First one that we ran into was uh, one of the assistant coaches, the uh, offensive coordinator, one of the co-offensive coordinators, I should say, Mr. Chuck Long, former quarterback of the Detroit Lions, also went to uh, University of Iowa. He signed everything I had. There's the uh, it's the Lions police issue from, God, what year was this, 87 maybe, 88? 
1988, card number 6 out of 14 in that set. So there you go. Sponsored also by Oscar Meyer and Clausens, along with the uh, Detroit Police, uh, WJR, and uh, WHYT Power 96 FM. So there you go. Got there those ones. Uh, we also saw the other co-offensive coordinator there, Jonathan Hayes. Strict one per signer, which was kind of surprising, but I got him on his pro set rookie card right there. There we go. Get the light just right. There we go. So, yeah, happy to add that one in. So that was, uh, they did the, they had a practice out on the field, and they did a question and answer session with uh, Bob Stoops, and he introduced all the coaches there. And so we got those two uh, right before they uh, went up and did their thing. And then uh, as they're making their way off, we got the defensive coordinators, including, first one was uh, Jay Hayes, brother of Jonathan Hayes, on the Notre Dame 1990 card right there. Really surprised I even had that one at all, but I grabbed a few packs of that somehow a few years ago. And uh, Tim Lewis, the co-defensive uh, coordinator, signed these two for me in silver. You notice a lot of these were signed in silver. They gave all the players and coaches silver pens for signing autographs. And uh, some were willing to use the blue, some just stuck with what they had. It, it varied up, but they all turned out pretty good nonetheless. So as uh, we got done with those, they were doing the question and answer with Bob Stoops. And so we went over and started getting some of the players before they said, hey, uh, wait until they go out to the actual signing after the Q&A. So it's like, all right, cool. But before that, we were at least able to get Tyler Vaughn, who is a... Wide receiver, I believe. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, this is a wide receiver there, and he's wearing 85 for them, whereas he wore 21 in college. So that's what I was like, running back maybe? No, he's a, he's a wide receiver, though. So he signed everything I had, including I like the uh, that green prism right there from the uh, paint prism set. You even see me in the reflection right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I uh, got those uh, signed by him. So once the players started making their way out, I was able to get a tight end Sean Bayer. Sean and I were born in the same city, so that was kind of cool. I got to... Drop that knowledge on him there. Uh, let's see here. After him, I was able to get running back Keith Ford, who used to play with the Bills for a bit. And he was on the, uh, it's an unparalleled card there, I believe. So, those are cool. They come out pretty nice sign in blue right there. I mean, it looks uh, real nice on that silver sparkly background. And that's one where I definitely said, hey, yeah, would you mind using the blue here? It's going to show up better, and I'm glad I did. Uh, let's see here. Ran to a Raheem Moore next, and... Uh, he signed everything I had. Super nice guy. Super talkative about everything. And uh, he actually said he had never seen this card before, which was kind of surprising. So uh, it's cool to get that one signed. So yeah, he signed, like I said, everything I had, though. So that was really great. Uh, saw punter Marquette King after that. He's also very willing to sign. Said he really loved playing for the Raiders. And there's one of his. Check that out. That signature just looks... It's an M with, drawn into a crown, basically. Marquette King. So really cool that he does it like that. So yeah, real happy to add that one in. I uh, saw so linebacker Colin Schooler over there. He signed the loan card I had of him. Uh, moving on from there, we uh, saw running back uh, Devion Smith, who uh, unfortunately played at University of Michigan. I won't hold that against him, though, because he's from Warren, Ohio. And I mentioned, yeah, dude, I'm from Painesville. It's like, oh, man, right off the road there. So signed everything I had as well. There's one of the XFL cards that I had. I had a couple of Michigan ones, but I'll show the XFL one off because I, I can't support Michigan at all. So, you know. I was kind of looking at me, and it's like, what? What's what's? I'm petting my kitty. Oh, okay, just petting kitty there, yeah. Sydney's over there hanging out with her. So, anyways, uh, Joe Powell is another one I saw out there. Plays safety for them. He signed in silver, which uh, yeah shows up pretty well there. Hopefully, uh, there. Ah, there we go. There's the best way to kind of ah, had just right for a second there, but yeah, shows up pretty well. Uh, let's see here. Who else was there? Uh, running back Kenneth Farrow signed the one card I had of him, also in silver. Uh, guard Brian Folker, he's a guard and center, both he's been playing there, but uh, he signed the two XFL cards ahead of him. Uh, also got the kicker, Taylor Russolino, short little uh, TR1 autograph there that he signs on there. I mean, if you have a last name like Russolino, I'd probably try to shorten that up too. I mean, that's uh, nine letters right there, so yeah, kind of long. Where are you going to put that on a card? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, just got to fit the got to fit the TR on there, and that's about it, so... Looks cool, though, at least. Uh, last one I got was Flynn Nagel, who's a wide receiver. And, uh, yeah, he signed the uh, cards I had of him. I had two. Chris had two. Uh, I hooked Chris up with two of them, so he gave me one of them back. So three total out of him. So there you go. I got 42 cards signed today. Very, very happy with that. Um, skipped out on the Rangers, uh, what do you call the uh, Rangers event? The Fan Fest event over at their stadium. Kind of glad I did. Uh, Aaron went to it. He was able to get, like, ten players or so between him and his mom. Uh, another friend of mine was able to get, like, about that many as well. They said they just hung out in one line pretty much the entire time. You had no chance of having any chance of getting everybody or even even half the guys there, it seemed like. But, yeah, really happy I went with the XFL there. Uh, yeah, good quantity. You guys were all really cool about signing. And Yeah, I'm hoping to check out a few of their games this year. I'm hoping I might have a chance to even graph the first one because 
Rod Woodson is the coach of uh, Las Vegas, who they're playing against. And I need Woodson for one of the sets I'm working on. So we'll see. I might try to go there, try to see if I can get him. See what happens. Anyways, there you go. That's it for this Saturday. And we're going to have some more to show from tomorrow with another Rangers uh, Winter Caravan event. All right, Sunday night, just uh, earlier today, went down to the last of the Rangers uh, Winter Caravan events. So uh, they had two going on at the same time. One was all the way up in the colony, which is like way far uh, northeast of me. And we're taking about 40 minutes or so to get to and uh, had Jake DeGrom at it. But I figured that was going to be a madhouse. You've got Jake DeGrom and Andrew Heaney at that one. Or you have uh, Mitch Garver and uh, Josh Young at the uh, one in North Richland Hills, which is closer. It's going to get less of a crowd, all that fun stuff. So uh, I went to the North Richland Hills one. I'm glad I did because uh, I was getting reports from a few other uh, collectors there that... Uh, yeah, I guess the line out there, they started lining up, and by like 8 o'clock, this is for a 1 o'clock in the afternoon signing, by 8 o'clock in the morning, it was already 50 deep for DeGrom, which is ridiculous. I know a few people, I know one person that got there at 4 a.m. to get first in line there, but uh, the great thing is, though, I mean, if you got first in line, you'd have no problem getting him zipping across the North Richland Hills and uh, getting the other group, too, but I'm not quite that dedicated. I like my sleep more than, more than just about anything, so... Uh, yeah, that wasn't happening, not going all the way up to, col to the colony. So uh, Chris and I went up to North Richland Hills instead. And, I mean, we got there, what, maybe two hours before it started, and we were about 25th in line. So beats the hell out of being, you know, what, eight, uh, five hours early and being 50th. So, uh, but yeah, got Mitch Garver on the uh, Topps Heritage right there. You see the book I use for all these things, too. So, but yeah, got uh, Garver on that one. It's a Heritage uh, first. It's their main base set in one of the high numbers. And then a Heritage Miners of Josh Young. Interestingly enough, Josh Young signing one per... They, they told everybody, you know, one, one item per person, blah, 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 all that stuff. But Young was... Uh, yeah, he was doing one per person there, and that was it. Full signature, at least, which was great. Garver, however, was signing anything anybody put down for him. So I saw people, you know, four cards at a time. He's giving, you know, full name signature. That's a great freaking autograph out of the guy there. And so, uh, yeah, he was signing everything. Young was one per... So what happened? I ended up... I had only one card of Garver with me, but I brought two of Young, and he only signs the one. But fortunately, uh, Aaron's mom was there with him, and so she was able to take my card and get that one done. So I got the second one done for uh, my friend John up in Oklahoma. So, yeah, there you go. Got uh, two more knocked out this week, and uh, that finishes off the week pretty nicely. Uh, yeah, check out my website, dfwgraffer.com, for all the info on everything I do, uh, links to all the social media stuff that I'm on. Check out my podcast, ttmcast.com. I do that with Jeff Baker once a week. Just got a new episode posted up here just uh, the other day. So make sure to check that out as well. Addresses go to sportscardforum.com, sportscollectors.net. Forum is free. .net is 15 bucks a year, but has a lot of great tools making it completely worth that money. So go and check those out. Thanks for tuning in. We'll hopefully have some uh, good stuff to show off next week as well.